So yeah, I couldn't find a good dad joke. I I, I looked, and I my source for him is it's running out. It's almost like they're a bunch of fakes. I'd almost call him a faux pas. Am I back? <laughs> You've been back. Am, okay. You've been Just back. Just check. I uh, left. Right. <laughs> what? Welcome. Is my headset loud enough? To the second office, slide on into the stall next door. Might just be congested. And join myself, your host, Alec George, and my two friends, Doc and... Oh, shit. Just kidding. You're not Doc. Nope. Nope. Everybody, this is my wife, Emily. Hi, guys. I've wanted this since day one. We've tried since day one. Day one, I've wanted this. And it was surprisingly easy today. I'm thrilled. All right, welcome. Let's, uh, it's gonna be great. Let's get right into it. So, um, it, it's been, it's been a very, it's been a very glum week. It's been rainy. We had rainy days and Mondays. Um, but if you listen to Mike Conley, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Ow. Those Mavericks are a bunch of clouds, if you ask me. Ow. Exactly. You know, you know why? Can't wait for them to piss off. Again. Man. Again. Yep. You're too much. Um, we'll get we'll get into the wolves right away. Miss you, Doc. Um, by the way, miss you. Yeah, Doc is um, he's fulfilling endeavors that feed his child. Yeah. So we um, we uh, we very much look forward to his return next week. Yep. Love you, Doc. Miss you, Doc. Well, Doc's kind of like some of my other coworkers. I, I call him Slinkies. <laughs> you mean Dog, right? We're talking about Dog. Dog. Yeah. Dog. Dog. Dog is kind of like some other coworkers. I call Not him, Doc. I call him Slinkies. Correct. Dog. dog. Yes. Yeah. They are okay. Tons of fun, but twice as fun to push down the stairs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nothing took me a second. No, that's great. Okay. Um, so since last, a lot's happened since last week. Since last episode, the Wolves have lost three uh, straight, and um, in the Western Conference Finals are down 0-3. Um, it, and it sucks. It sucks very much, so I just want to take a first second before adding more optimism. I want to take this first second to... Um, appreciate the season. Truly, um, I'd say I'd say the best wolf season that um, th- it's been the most enjoyable for me and probably the most successful wolf season. Well, it's to what be- made uh, me become a fan. And now my wife is a fan. She's never watched sports with me, and she has gotten into the games. I'm totally into the games. I love all the players. I'm their number one fan. She can list them all. Go starting five. Go. Uh, Go Bear. Towns. Ow. Edwards. Ow. Uh, Anderson. No. Oh. Well. Oh. He's solid oh. off the bench. He's solid what? off the bench. Oh. Keep going. You can't. Oh, okay. You can't include the bench players. The starters. I said. Oh, okay. Throw Conley. some benchers in there. Okay. There you go. Oh. So she didn't know and, I meant starters. And Nazri. Or no, he's a bench player too. Yeah. I always yep. forget. Well, he's so cool. Yeah, he Nazi counts. Beth. He is. Who's the fifth? Oh, g- Who's the fifth? I. What do I already say? You. you can't who's the, the fifth? I don't do good ones. Ah, like pressure on, on me. I know. I know. I know. Ooh. Who's the fifth? Do you think? Do you think it's the jersey I'm wearing that I've been showing oh, you for the last 10 yeah, seconds? Yeah, McDaniels, of course. Well, okay, you add, I, know, I know it when I... <laughs> Love you. I don't get hints either. Love you. Okay. Um, I'm on camera. I'm being recorded. You're doing great. I'm nervous. being put up. We're the just pressure's so on me. It's, har- it's harder than it looks. You know who else is glad? It looks. I, w- I wish you could hear them right now cheering and, and the conversation I hope couples are having where they're saying, I'm really glad she's on. We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting for a, <laughs> a female, female perspective. Yep. And just so you, you know, you are welcome and just glad to have you. Probably, Thank you. Probably the episode titles. I've Fe- been begging. Female perspective. Since week one. Female perspective. Yeah. Be honest. You can tell the, the listeners. Female that wisdom. We have. We've begged More you to like be on the it. show perfect. since week one. It's true. Yeah, that's true. But it took now the wolves. this is the perfect opportunity. Dog can't make it. You know, dog got fired. Doc can't make it. Dog, it was a good run. <laughs> R.I.P. Well, we found Dog in the production room. <laughs> I might have to post that picture later. Yeah, he's, check he's that not, out. On he's Instagram. not taking the. He was editing. Yeah, he's not. He's not taking the whole replacement well. I don't think he's taking work serious. <laughs> no, that that much was serious last week. He didn't say shit. Right. Anyways, so real quick though, you said you want to take a moment to reflect on the season, right? Yeah. It seems to me like I, you're. No, you, I don't. You, want, I was not going to like take that much time. You're on having it. a no. barbecue for a guy. That's, Where do you see my next four points? Stop. I'm not. There's just been a lot of negativity, and I, I just have to say it. 
Are we playing regardless basketball of what tonight? happens tonight? Basketball that matters. Are we playing basketball we that are. matters tonight? We are one of the final three teams remaining. I'll appreciate in the season, season when it's over. <laughs> okay, you're right. Oh, you're right. It ain't. It ain't. Ask Mike Conley. Like I said, it ain't. Um, we will get into that super quick. Um, we need to do a couple quick RIPs. By the way, coming back down 3-0 NBA. Never been done. Oh, I was going to say easy. Never been done? Never been done. Like not even once. Correct. In the playoffs, never. No, There's, there's been like 180 NBA or 150 NBA playoffs that started. I have no idea. 3-0 series. Something. Nobody won. It's never been done. <laughs> Till us. Yes, exactly, right? I could actually see it happening. Yes. Yeah, We're just so a lot, weird. A lot of people could. It's, Why not now? Why not believe? Why the hell not believe? It's fun to believe. Yeah. Get the hell into it. It's say fun. I won't, George. Exactly. Remember that? Say I won't. Remember say I won't? Hell yeah, I do. The Wait quest for NAR? Mm-hmm. Exactly. We're on that quest. Um, so we are recording this um, an hour before game time. So no matter what happens tonight, have fun with it. And I think if the Wolves do too... They they never uh, they never play better than when they're the underdogs or should I say the underwolves? Oh, well, pat on the back. A couple RIPs on a serious note. That's why he won't give up the button board. Exactly. Um, NBA Hall of Famer, all time great, Bill Walton. RIP. He really? Gets, he gets an awoo. Oh, mm-hmm. dang. Um, golfer Grayson Murray. RIP. Tragic story. Um, best wishes to his family. Yeah, that is actually something that I'm glad you brought up. That's one of those stories that a lot of people need to look at, and especially a lot of men right now, and look at that and, and realize, you know, men's mental health is declining everywhere across the world. It's not a U.S. thing. It's not a, a state thing. It's it's not one country. Men's, men's health everywhere is, yeah, it's declining. I mean, people's m- mental health in general. Seems like that. And it's... It's one of those things where, you know, I'm one of those guys. I call people all the time. You sure do. Even if they don't answer, I'll, you know, it's, I've had a few buddies. I've reached out probably four or five times. Never, yep. never got an answer back, but I'll get a text. A Love week the later. mentality. Yeah. Love the mentality. And I wish I had it. Because I'll tell you this right now. If I don't know, I like to look at if I've been blessed with a lot of people in my life, you both included, what? Emily. Aww. Thanks for finally being on the damn show. Woo. You're basically the one who came up with the whole idea to do this. A lot of this already. Yeah. So that's why I wanted you here. Thank you. To see what you've done. Thank you. How much time you've taken away from me. But anyway, but yeah, men's mental health and everybody's mental health. It's something that check on your people, really. Yeah. Check on your people, be vulnerable, have uncomfortable conversations where if you ask somebody, hey, are you good? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I see things that I make me think you're not. I just want to let you know what I'm seeing, and I want to make sure that there's not something you're not willing to talk about. And they could say, no, absolutely, I appreciate it, but no, I'm good. Perfect. Love but it. A and lot of people won't won't ever ask that second question. Yeah, my take on it is uh, the, the tragedy happens, and everyone, everyone only talks about love them so much. I love them so much. I love them so much. Mm-hmm. Um, and you regret you didn't say it more, so just say it more. Oh, that's let, like let the people know. That's like me. Let, let them know while they're yeah. here. And like, you don't like you. We you just can't up take the phone it on a Tuesday talking about, hey, we're going to change the time of recording. Yep. And if if we can, we'll end with a love you, man. Love you. Yep. Because I do. Because it's true. And more people need to tell more people that yep. and be open to receive somebody that might need some help because like not it. everybody can afford therapy. And honestly, well, I'm, that's not true. No. Therapy is covered by most insurance, and then there are like a lot of there, uh, there complimentary helplines, yeah. and are, there's there are, resources. There are routes. Um, yeah. First, first step is is looking, is looking for help. But yeah. I know, you know, me personally, help is available. I have found, yeah, being being able to open up to friends is mm-hmm. super important too. Yes, because those are the people you're going to be with and surround yourself with. So, exactly, I love that. But yeah, all right, all right, P. <laughs> Thanks for allowing for that, guys. That was super cool. And uh, we'll continue with the Wolves. Um, a little recap. Game one. Um, you could tell there was a little uh, game seven. Shaking off the game seven. Shaking okay. off the greatest Wolves game ever. You can say we were right? tired. We were a little bit tired. Ant admitted to it for sure. Um, but God damn, a game we should have won. A game we absolutely should have won. Yeah. Um, okay, fine. Move on to game two. Well, can, um, I, can I just say I'm going to steal a take from Common? 
Game one, what was the point deficit? One. Game three, two? Three. two. It was three. Game two? One. Is is Dallas a dominant team right now? They're great. They're incredible, They right? are. They're First very good. First two games, we were collectively three-point yeah. deficit, right? And there, I don't believe and, that and we were tired. there were a lot of plays that, that came down to the end. So, um, so, sure, a lot of the blame goes to Ant in game two, right? Two turnovers in the final minute, one with 12 seconds left. That gave, very that, pivotal. That gave Luca the ball. Yep. Leading up to that, of course, is um, the Dallas challenge of ball out on Jaden McDaniels. Which when upon reviewing, foul. which is a blatant foul, that can't be changed. Why that was ever a rule. Well, you saw Luca's three this on is absolutely Gobert insane. was a travel, right? He took three steps, but Harden's been doing that for damn near a decade now. So it doesn't make it right. No, I know. Um, but I agree with all the takes on that. If if you if you are switching everything at the end, why why is Gobert there? Kyle Bush has been crashing people since Taylor Dagan. We don't like him. <laughs> Fuck. Nice. Yeah, nice. Um Either way, game two. Uh, the series really has come down to Luca and the Wolves. He makes everything. So and the Luka, Wolves aren't. I would disagree. Any- that. Luca, it, 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 you're I right. I would say it comes down to Uncle Drew. I think. Okay. Ky- I think it's Kyrie a lot of has been the you're right. dominant it, force. Personally. We probably can't summarize, or um, we we probably can't dumb it down to one thing. Their stars have been way the hell better than our stars. They make they make their shots. They make and they make the timely yeah. ones. They, yes. they make that's the ones that they need the to make. Problem. And we can't. We yeah. haven't. Cat went what like zero for eight. Zero for eight from yeah. three last game. Was, three of three of twenty two on what the series was nice? from three. Five or six. Yeah, something. Yeah, I know. I well, hear hey, you. but guess what? I love. What did Finch do? Game three. He sat Cat put Nas in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and actually, my, and I, I want to take a moment to. Give Cat respect where respect is due. I know I, I drag mm-hmm. him down a lot. Yeah. He handled that in the questions after mm-hmm. like a man. Yeah. Yeah. He said, Coach saw something, mm-hmm. an adjustment needed to be made. Nas yeah. was hot. Nas was helping our team yeah. more than I could. So I took a back seat. Yeah, he's a professional. Yep. He is. Mm-hmm. And I love that they were like, mm-hmm. was, you know, they asked Finch, was a conversation had? He goes, We don't have time to have a conversation. Yeah. He's an adult. We'll have one after. Yeah. yeah. It's also Cat didn't throw a fit, I which don't, yeah. I think a year ago. He may have a big one. He's well, always been a great teammate. He's always been an amazing teammate. Um, yeah. He's, yeah no, well, he's right. been on the Wolves for a long time. And yeah, I think just older, too. Like if he was 22 mm-hmm. years old, maybe he would. Yeah. He, he wasn't teammate. necessarily taking bad shots. He couldn't hit shit. He just wasn't having a good game. He, he couldn't make dialed. a damn thing. Yeah. Um, he, he looked like he was rushing a little too much, maybe. Yep. Um, rush the threes, rush the drives. It, he mm-hmm. is. His game is completely reliant on his mentality for that game. Yeah, like who know? But who knows? I always give people the benefit of the doubt. Like we don't know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. The another fan's perspective would be: This is what Towns is in the playoffs. So I have this stat for you. So you're going to need to do a little defending, as the one with the Towns jersey. Okay. Cat's career playoff stats um, are 18 points, 10 rebounds, two assists. And this postseason, he has averaged 18 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists. What? I think that's a l- it's slightly misleading because of kind of the backseat role he's taken to Edwards, especially in the first two series, and was absolutely, you could argue, one of the two main reasons why we won Game 7, why we beat the Nuggets. And he defended Jokic brilliantly. He's so good. And, and he won't get credit for that, unfortunately, if the Wolves... Especially if they go out tonight and he has another stinker, he, that's that's going to be everyone's memory, which sucks. Same for Gobert. Yeah, that does because suck. we wouldn't be where we are or even close right. without either of them throughout the um, whole time they've. So he really took well. he took a back seat to Ant. However, his splits are what's crazy. Cat is he's always going to shoot above fifty percent from the floor and a, and at least forty percent from three. Right. That's why that's why he's great. Um, he's shooting forty five percent. From the floor and thirty four percent from three this playoffs, and why and why that happens I don't know. That that's his career. That's his career three point shooting percentage is thirty four. His career percentage goes down seven percent in the playoffs, and that just sucks. Big that pressure. That games. sucks. Well, what changes the most from regular play to uh, playoff play? Pressure. No, it has to do with the whistles. Referees sure. let stuff go. Sure. Cat gets oh, oh. a lot of regular season slap 
Powell's? No, he, no Brad, Cat gets no respect from officials because he flails. Well, and, I'll, uh, I'll tell you this. Any respect so. he does kind get in the regular season so. goes away. Which, yes. Mm-hmm. And that's what yep. I think he's struggling with. Yeah. He he has the body. Mm-hmm. He, it's one of the Like, if I was Chris Finch, I would tell him, you know why I keep bringing you up, Cat? Because I believed you when you said, I'm the best shooting big man in the league. Of all time. Of all time. All time. You said those words. And the worst part is, Cat, I believe you because I've seen it. I've seen instances where you show me greatness. And so anything underneath that, same with Ant right now. What you, After yeah. what you've shown me, the way yeah. he's playing right now, I won't lie. It's less than what you're capable of. Mm-hmm. And that's what's infuriating as a fan. Because we know it's like watching your kid, mm-hmm. th- who's watching an amazing pianist. <laughs> sure. And well, anything doesn't want to go to practice. You can relate. I don't know. <laughs> it's like your dog. <laughs> it's like my dog. She... <laughs> <laughs> when she naps, but it's over when there. you see it's a friend, right? It's when we a, go for a walk and she walks so good, she doesn't bark point. at any other dogs. That's exactly she doesn't what pull it's on like. the leash. What? And then one day we go and she's just barking at everything. She's pulling. Yeah, that's essentially she's it. Yep. At and you're just like, kids. what the hell happened? But like, you've seen, we were just doing this. You yep. saw that walk where you <laughs> you barely knew she was there. You could have dropped that leash and the walk wouldn't have changed. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because you've seen it. Yeah. And that, that's that's why it keeps getting brought up. We know Correct. what you're capable of. Correct. Your ceiling is massive. Correct. And if... It's so true. Yeah. You know, I feel like boss has no, always so, told so me, the only reason I'm bitching is because I know you're good. I'm like, stop yelling at me. <laughs> and they yelled at me, and I peed in my pants. <laughs> no, it's cool, man. Um, okay. So, uh, Nas Reed. Any team can win four in a row. I feel like it's us. Hang on. Says Nas Reed. Real quick. Yep. Cat. Is he a Timberwolf next year? Yeah. He, of course he is. Really? I, I, I don't, don't think, think I is. don't think that's going to be a thing at all. We need to remember. We need to remember. I understand this is. I Okay. You're going to pay Nas Reed what he's making. He's going to be six, man. I don't like. I think he gets a start. Nas Reed is paid like a bench player. Fair enough. Cat. Is about to be making fifty five mil a year, and that's where it becomes problematic. That's why he'll be a Laker at the right price. I want Towns forever and ever. What and does ever. Nas? What What does Nas Reed make? Nas signed like fourteen mil a year or something. Right, but he should be getting paid way more. Yeah, he should. He has that case now. He signed he the deal yeah, before the season. Be. He will be. Well, will we keep Nas Reed? I think we have to. I I think our our future can they afford is, Nas Reed? To even, pay eventually, more? they will be. I tell you this. To. Our future if is, owns is the team Ant, next Jayden, year, and Nas. Cat That's our future. If the current owner is still owning, Cat's gone. You think? Is that, that, is that, that a call? That dude is a frick. He doesn't give a damn about fans and what they love. A new guy yeah. in town's more jerseys. Yeah. Look at Derek Williams. I suppose. That's whose jersey I have. You have Derek Williams' jersey. That's right. That's the most recent jersey I have. <laughs> so, I got a Zerbiak. And a Derek Williams. Those are the two I bought in my life. You have Zerbiak? Yeah, I will buy that from you. Don't tell no. Sign Zerbiak ball. That's cool. I know. Bro, Dude, I played poker bucks. with Troy Hudson and Kevin Garnett. I know you did. T Hud. Love T Hud. Back in the day, there was a thing called Are you Taste of the Timberwolves. The truth? Yeah, 100%. Sometimes you just say. No, he is. No, Should. sometimes I'll say. And I just go along I'll with say it. bullshit about facts. But if it's something well, that right. I, I was involved in, the point. then I can't lie to you because I, I want to. But yeah, uh, I was no, very you, lucky as you, a kid. Well, you, you've told tales about things you've done. That was hand bone. But <laughs> so I was lucky enough. My dad had a grocery store and the Pepsi was a big, obviously, uh, producer of products. Yeah. We sold a lot of Pepsi products. Big client. So big they client. invited us to something called Taste of the Timberwolves. And you got to hang out with Timberwolves. And this night was a Vegas themed night. So obviously, cool. no money being exchanged. It's all a nonprofit, but food, drinks and gambling. Mm-hmm. I sit down at the blackjack table because my brother, I don't know if you met him, likes to gamble. Okay. Actually, to the point where he kind of used to deal blackjack in the basement, I think, as a kid. But he paid taxes on it, and everybody else left with 1044, so we were good. But um, come to think of it, my dad had a slot machine in the basement. That's right. <laughs> Forgot about that. That actually took people's money? You His don't... rule was you, you leave with what you win, but you lose with what you show up with if you lose it. A couple of Ryan's or er, Ryan, That's a couple smart. of Cal's buddies yeah, I know hey, used to show up over, and sit there drink. with a sock full <laughs> of quarters. Of no, I mean they were fifteen, but they'd go there with a sock full of quarters that they boosted out of their dad's truck. <laughs> what are we talking about? Slot machine in my dad's basement. <laughs> you awesome. played it, hell yeah. 
the guys that weren't playing Wii Golf were just dumping quarters. And my dad come down with a bucket and just like, keep playing, boys. Yep. <laughs> this is going to the cabin. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> what we were He's talking about, my about next bottle of Jameson. was gambling. Yep. With the Timberwolves. With yep. the Timberwolves. You did that. Very cool. Very cool, Sody. Lush. Rainforest. Belize. How's all that sound? Because the lush rainforests of Belize offer a whole different kind of adventure. Discover a world teeming with exotic wildlife, breathtaking waterfalls, and ancient Mayan ruins. On a truly wonderful vacation to this country on the east coast of Central America, email K at Sulit Experience. That's K at Sulit, S-U-L-I-T, experience.com to help with your travel Belize plans. So Nas Reed. Nas Reed thinks we can do it. Mike Conley thinks we can do it. Um, I'm John, reassured already. So uh, John John Krasinski was told by Mike Conley to um, after Game Three, um, and this is uh, ooh, this is good. John, you're gonna have a hell of a story to write. We're gonna make history. Ah woo! He said ah woo. Ah woo! Who did? Mike Conley. To John Krasinski, he went. He went. We're gonna make history. Ah woo! Did he say ah woo? Yes. No. Is that the, in the quote? No. Because if I saw A W O O in the he, quote, I'd freak. He insane. Because if he ended with a woo. I know. It would be great, right? Why don't we just, we need to just make a hoodie that says A W O O. A woo. Doc, I know, you're, I know you're working hard at the first office, but make it happen. That's great. That's a great idea. Or um, Nas Reed on the front and the back. A woo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Before we move on from uh, Wolves, why would we move on from Wolves? They're the hottest topic in town. We'll see what you have to say about them. Man. What do you think about uh I, I do kind of wanna I do kind of want to defend Rudy too. I think we're just we're seeing the age of the kids. They are kids. Mm-hmm. We're seeing the age. That could be it. They we're really going against it. Uncle Kyrie. He's not a kid. No. That is a grown no. ass man. Yep. And then Lucas. He is a general. Lucas He's good. Is massive. Now, Ant could take over, right? Um, G- Luca's first Western Conference Finals, um, gentlemen swept. One game, one game to four. Really? Yeah. All right. Take that for whatever. I haven't seen Keandre in a while. Uh, congr- but yeah, let's, congrats, let's appreciate the Mass season, fan. right? Congrats. Even though it's not over. I'm sorry. You're, no, you're totally, you're totally right there. Um, this just might be the last time on the podcast God. we're talking about them. I don't hear that often. As competing for the finals. And I I, I want to recognize that. We're one of three teams remaining in this year. That's this really season. cool. It's super cool. It's very cool, but it's not over. It's not freaking over. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now we may move on. Um, after this Magic Johnson tweet, which is hilarious. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Do you smoke? What do you mean? Are you smoking? No, we have a fog machine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw something out there. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So did I. Um, Magic Johnson, congratulations to Steph Curry on winning his second PBWA Magic Johnson Award. Dot, dot, dot. By the way, at Steph Curry, I had fun hanging out with your mom last night at the Sparks home opener. Oh, God. Oh, God. Doesn't the NBA, aren't they done with people's moms? No. <laughs> Didn't so, we do this? So if you're familiar with how Magic Johnson tweets, that is a 100% innocent tweet. <laughs> He's just, just dumb. <laughs> Didn't take a second to be like, wait a minute. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Now let's move on. He's a talent. Um, ooh. Some, uh, you know, I love my movie news. Happy Gilmore 2 confirmed with Netflix. Really? What do you think? <laughs> Is Happy Madison Productions oh. Ooh. Well, in, in charge of it? Yeah. That, all of Adam Sandler's, or at least a decent amount of them sure on Netflix, have a, had the Happy Madison. 24 isn't getting a hold of this and turning it into Winnie the Pooh Goes Dark, man. What if, though? They're touching everything. Yeah, they sure A24 are. is everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's usually pretty good. And it's, I know it's usually it's pretty good. scary. Yeah. I don't like scary. I know. I get scared. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Excited? Happy Gilmore, too. Yeah. I could... Care less. I think it comes at a great time. I think golf is at an all time high for popularity. I think you should capitalize on that. And I think if John Daly's not the third lead, I'm out. That is so true. That is so true. John yeah, Daly. You oh, were looking man. for a button to press because that was a great one. take. Yep. I was. You should just make one. Great take. <laughs> um, you say it. What a great golf 
John Daly Sports Happy Madison Productions Mind. Thanks. Nice. Total ripoff, but great. What a great sports take. Emily, do one. Do a button. I great don't. take. Uh, uh. Anything. <laughs> that was it. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not going to use that. Okay. You All could right. just do a good idea. That would go very far with us. Great idea. <laughs> yes. Oh. What's the timestamp? Yep. What's the timestamp? <laughs> Wave down the cameras. Twenty four forty eight. All of it. Write it down. Twenty four forty eight. That's the best. Uh, that's the best soundbite we've got. Amazing. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. you. You're welcome. Love you. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm curious and excited for Happy Gilmore too. Can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> Return of the Sabbath. Last time you were curious and excited. Return of the Sabbath. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Me. Black like, Sabbath guitarist Tony is on board with Ozzy Osbourne's call for reunion. Wait, Ozzy Osbourne called him. I don't know. What did that sound like? It's a headline. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's like, you know what? You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> and that's all it took. What is the, That's Rick and Morty, isn't it? You son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Emily, if what? you had to plan a heist, yeah. who, who are you going after? Who am I going after? Yeah. Or what are you going after? What am I going after? What are you a heisting? Heist. I mean, usually it's money, right? Usually. Dude, right now, if you got a semi truck full of shingles, you could do very well. That's a hot that's a hot item. Some okay. nice certain teed, forty five year warranted. One what? of those one. I'll take yeah, I'll take your word for it. Well, you remember Fast and the Furious? That's they were hijacking semis. Remember what what was in those semis? D V D players. That's right. That was the first one. Okay, that was, that's called that was hilarious. Like, that was like the freaking like cartel yeah. of, of heisting. We're going to get all these DVDs. What'd players? you guys get? A bunch of RCAs and Sonys, <laughs> my guy. We're going to make it. Yeah. And pawn shops were like, oh, I need all those. Because I don't have enough DVD. Their DVD players are flying off my shelves. So were they stealing those to sell them just yeah. for like car parts <laughs> to race their cars? No, man. Well, kind of. Was that just, what? Pretty much. Was that what number one was? their passion to be car guys. Or gals. Sure. I think they just stole them to sell them. And why not, right? We've come so far. Because it's illegal. We've come so Don't far. Don't steal from people. But I guess a, usually a heist is you're stealing something. Unless it's an insurance Correct. company. Yeah. So usually it's like Correct. either money or something that values mm-hmm. money. Microplastics where? In every human testicle in this study. Did I send that to you? Maybe. Wait, what? Every human testicle that was a part of this study. Yeah, microplastics. Every, everything. Microplastics. Everything. Mm-hmm. Well, look at what happens to a, a bottle of 7-Up, a plastic bottle that goes into the ocean, gets pulverized for, let's say, four years. It turns into dust mm-hmm. in the water. Mm-hmm. That water ends up in the Gulf of Mexico, right? Yeah. Or let's say the Northern Sea, because yeah. they litter up yeah. north, too. Any, any beach. Antarctic ticks aren't any, better than anyone else. Any yep. beach. Yeah, it gets pulverized, turned in, just like a rock in the ocean, will get pulverized and turned into, what, sand? Yeah. Right? We have filters for minerals, for sediment, for all this stuff. Guess what these filters are made out of? Plastic. Guess what, mm-hmm. for some reason, they don't filter out. Plastic. Weird. Weird. I, you know what I hate? When Keurig came out, I was like, <laughs> I can die now. I saw the epitome of man. I can make a single cup of coffee without disturbing anyone in the home. I, the whole house isn't going to smell terrible or like coffee if some people don't like coffee. I don't have to make any, anyone else coffee. <coughs> Here you go. <coughs> but the microplastics are off the charts. I can't do it. I had to switch like a a mesh one. So, yeah. God, we should do that. Yeah, it's cool. You we load did, it up with your own ground. We did that for a while. We yeah. did do that for a while, but we had I won't go into details, but it had issues. We're we're terrible as the details. Anyways, um yeah, microplastics found in every human testicle and study. Scientists say discovery may be linked. This is a Guardian article, may be linked to the decades long decline in sperm counts in men around the world. Yeah. I believe it. Not, it's sterilization of the nation. We're not shooting sperm, we're just shooting microplastics. Think of anybody you know that has a kid. That doesn't fertilize anything. Georgie, anybody you know our age that has a child, it's a it's a girl. You said this, but a good friend at work has a has a male child. Now name the five people you know that have daughters. We don't need to. Okay. Do we, anyway, well, we I don't, don't need to name. I don't know in your not, head. that many no, of my friends have. Okay, so I you don't know, have a lot of friends with kids in I general. I work with one. I just saw one the other day. Doc Jace. Okay, we don't need to names. like say yeah. names on here. I just called one the other day. He didn't answer me back for Bass Fest. 
Um, oh, wait. That's not his, but he's raising her. Good man. Um, I don't know who that is. You don't have to. Okay. Still a good guy. Good. But, yeah. Okay. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, look at... Is there a st- statistic on... Let me look that up. Let's look it up. In 2023, how many girls were born and how many boys were born? I bet girls outweighed boys like crazy because there's estrogen in the milk. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be like a bad okay. thing. Why do they put estrogen in milk? Wait, 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 wait. What wouldn't be a bad thing? A woman... A, a <laughs> world full of women? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we're going to rule the world. And then, Let me ask and you then, this. And then die. If I if I put you in a room with five other women that you do, you don't know, no, I wouldn't like that. Why not? Right? You put Georgie and I in a room with ten other guys, uh, we'd love that. We'd be like, what do we have in common? But I'm not. It's not your fault. It's I don't know what it is. Yeah, women are designed, and they at least the ones I've met, they're like, yeah, I don't want to be locked in a room with other women. Some some women like that. According to I, whatever. I'm just too laid back for that vibe. Like, I know exactly, right? Because it would not be I a laid back vibe. No. Six women in a room that I've like, never just met. Hang out would it like, would it be laid back, you think? No. It would get heated quick. Yeah. Why? Because the energy it's just energy. It's Sorry, I'm not energy. finding anything to support your claim. What do you mean? I'm just not. Are they making more boys? Not necessarily. Where are they going? It's like fifty one to forty nine okay, every other might, year. This might be a premium content thing. Perhaps. Uh, we I'm can, sorry. We I'm, can, I'm, uh, I'm worried about the future we'll of the do Timberwolves. Some more, we'll do some more research on it. And, uh, if we're not making we'll get back to you. Premium. We'll get yeah. back to you on, yeah. on Sody's conspiracies. Here's a funny headline. Kid Rock allegedly waved gun, said N-word during heated interview. It's not funny. That sucks. I was going to say, what's the funny part? It's not. It's bad by Kid Rock. Apparently it's he really bad. admitted fault. Whatever. Well, you know, Kid Rock's probably said that word 10,000 times, right? Yeah, I wonder. And... I bet there have been a lot of people that have been around him while he said it, and they were like, yeah, man. Oh, You're well, mine. For sure. You are happen. mine. <laughs> sure. But the wrong person heard it and got offended. And I re- no, no, nobody can have fun. Usually how it goes. Are you saying that's the case with I that just think word? People, people give power to words. And well, it's, it's true. It, it, it's true. But this one's not for us to it say. It blows my mind. Let's give power to the people. Yeah, but, but this one, not, this one's not no. for us to say. No. I'm not saying it. Okay, good. Okay, good. But I'm just saying. No, we don't need to say anything. Let's just move on. <laughs> we don't say that word. But we don't just, wave guns. But we're just saying. I'm saying if nobody said it. We're just saying. Like Voldemort. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're done. So much different. <laughs> right. But yes, <laughs> like Voldemort. Serial slingshot shooter. Captain Crunch, because that will pierce skin. Aged 81. Arrested in California after nearly a decade of evading police. A serial slingshot shooter. Oh, my God. Wow. Killing people with a slingshot? I have no idea. Let's find out. Well, hang on. Do you know what the best thing to put in a wrist rocket is, right? For those of you that grew up near railroads. Marble. Taconite. What's that? Taconite? Oh, sure. Taconite is a ball of iron ore. It's how it's shipped before it's melted down into iron core or molten iron. But they used to just fall off the trains where I grew up, and they were like musket rounds of iron ore. They were heavy as snot. Okay. Hmm. You're good. Keep going. This happened. We're good. Continue. Is that an exterior thing? Continue. So, taconite. Super cool stuff. Great for killing squirrels. Um, Right. Protecting so you were, your you were, property you from rabbit squirrels. You were using it in a slingshot. I wouldn't say a slingshot. I'd say a wrist rocket because that's a brand name. Okay. Would you ask for a tissue or a Kleenex? Oh. Okay. Wrist rocket was elite. Uh, that was the one, obviously, that went placed over the forearm. Had a yes hollow rubber tube system. Yeah. It was combat worthy. Yeah. Yeah, wrist rocket for sure. And I'll be all of slingshots. Um, an 81-year-old serial slingshot shooter, this via sfgate.com, uh, was arrested during a search warrant serving Thursday after um, authorities determined he had been striking residential windows, denting car windshields, and making close calls with several people in his neighborhood for close to a decade. What that dude sold, sold storm restoration. Guaranteed. <laughs> Is that hail damage? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Uh, Police department launched an investigation after learning of the, quote, quality of life issue um, afflicting (laughs) residents on the 900 block of the avenue. 
Can you file for a quality of life complaint in your neighborhood? If you got someone shooting slingshots at every at all your belongings, probably. Yeah, I'd say that sucks. It probably qualifies. Author- authorities served the warrant at the residence of Prince King and found ball bearings. His name's Prince King? And a slingshot at the property. His name is Prince King? No, that's the residence. Okay. Oh, shit. No, maybe you're right. <laughs> at the residence of Prince King. No way. <laughs> No. You gotta property. be kidding me, Prince King. Prince King. Who's doing this? Why it they, was Prince King. It was Prince King. <laughs> the police are like, who? The, the neighborhood for ten. That's not a real person. For ten years, <laughs> it's like Prince King is fighting well, you know slingshots crazy? at us. They're like, that's bullshit. <laughs> not real. Is if you want to, if you want to talk to somebody, his next of king, do you talk to his son or his dad? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Quote, it's been ongoing for many years because we just didn't identify who the suspect was, Bushy told the outlet, noting the reason for the vandalism uh, or why certain people or properties were targeted remains unknown. Quote, we're not aware of any kind of motive other than just malicious malicious mischief. Wow. Say, 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 yeah, say, say that, that five times fast. Malicious mischief. Malicious mischief. Malicious mischief. That's really hard. Malicious mischief. Nice. Good job, guys. Did they say the age of the person doing it? Was it a juvenile? Can you put situation? the in front of Prince grown, King from now on? Or is this a grown man? King. The Prince King? The like, Prince King. <laughs> like the <laughs> Red King. But he's the Prince King. Oh, the boy does king. Does it say the age of the person doing it? Like I told this... I said it three times. He's 81. 81? Oh. Yes. It's an elderly man. So he was the Prince King. <laughs> Prince Probably king. a big fan. Running yeah. around ruining people's houses. Record show King was booked at the Los Angeles County uh, Jail later that afternoon without bail. And he is scheduled to appear in court on Tuesday. Okay. Well, 81, he's got nothing to lose. He's been waiting for this moment. Watch him bring his slingshot to the trial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Prince King. Yeah, I'm Prince King. <laughs> yeah, next headline is going to be judge struck with slingshot in by, trial. By Prince King. By the Prince it's King. It's on my bucket list. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. All right. Last, uh, last little bit. Last little bit of a uh, little bit of whatever. A bottle of whiskey, Emily, don't look. Okay. A bottle of whiskey from 1926 reached a record-breaking price in an auction. How for, much? For what price? Who made the whiskey? Let's we'll find out. Hmm. Uh, okay, so from 1926. Say 200,000. Uh, 200,000? That's your uh, mm-hmm. That's your bet? Who made uh, the whiskey? I'm trying to find out. I don't know. They might not exist anymore. Is it Irish? Like 1926. Canadian? Wait, how, how old is it? Sorry. Sody's asking the real um, question. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, how old is it, though? Oh. 1926. So it's McAllen. Oh, frick. I'd say 1.2 million. Really? 100%. Sody's a lot closer than you are. Oh, really? Okay, 700,000? I, I, I bet I'm still short, aren't I? Is it over a bill? Sody's still short. Yeah, it's over that. 1.8. What? Final answer? Yeah. Emily? M- Two mil? M- M- McAllen is considered the widely it's, considered the best scotch. It's pretty freaking good. Okay. Two mil. Um, let me read this quote first. Okay. Maturation journey of the vintage McAllen distilled in 1926. The scotch whiskey was bottled six decades later. Do you know After what a maturing in oak is? barrels, which gives it its dark hue, yes. it is the oldest vintage of McAllen. Saturday's, uh, da, da, da. they got a few bottles of it. This one sold for. Two point six five mil. Oh my! What? Two point six five mil for this bottle of McAllen. What's the size? Is that a is that a one seven five or is that no. a seven fifty? It's a normal. It's a normal bottle That's of the McAllen. Tiny. So what's that? A liter? Five hundred? Uh, probably seven. So how much? Probably fucking seven. So what would the price be for Ooh. one shot? Would so, that be a hundred thousand a shot? How many milliliters are in a shot? Google it, please. Like one glass. Would I be love hundreds this question, Emily. I love it's real world math. This yes, <laughs> this is why fucking right. This is why she's here. This is what people want to know. How much is a shot of that bottle? Like if I were to go to a bar and it's like I just want one shots? shot. I Can just you want get to out try seven fifty. One jigger. I don't know if this is an ounce or an ounce and a half. <laughs> okay, but close enough. Shut up, Sody. Forty-four point three six milliliters. Okay, so two point whatever million divided by. 40 something, 42. Wait a minute. Well, hang on. One shot. Hold on. Hold on. I no, got that, that's not the math. Hang on. Yeah. However no, much not. it was, and then divided by how many shots is in it is the price. How many per shot. shots can you pour out of a 750 milliliter bottle of liquor? What was the price? 
Hey everyone, Sodi with the Second Office here. I'm sure I don't have to remind you, we're entering a new age of cannabis in this wonderful state of Minnesota, and our friends over at Flipside Dispensary and Music want to be your guide to finding that perfect high. You can shop their curated selection of THC and CBD edibles and drinks, peruse their $1,505 records, chill in their custom-built listening lounges, and enjoy a cannabis atmosphere that is second to none. Located directly across from Bogart's Donuts in Minneapolis, Flipside is ready to help you spark a moment of joy and vibe to the music while you do it. Find them at FlipsideMN.com or at FlipsideMN on socials. Mention this ad and get 10% off your entire order. See you on the flip side. This is what we need to find out first. The standard bottle of alcohol, 750, will give you about 16 shots. So That's it? That sounds accurate. What is $2.65 million divided by 16? Okay. Wait, so how do No, so Sody's doing Sody has it. Oh. Man. Good try, man. What is two point six five million divided by sixteen? I hate math, but I'm I actually I know how to get there. Yeah. Wow. What is it? Wow. Yeah? A freaking house. Yeah? Hundred and sixty five thousand. You can't get a house for that anymore. You could probably get a condo. You can get a house on a lake in Reamer. I'll yeah, show it to you. Yeah, it's true. Okay. One hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars a shot. I'm getting four of them. God damn. Wow. God damn. Call it one seventy. Call one seventy. Round up. One hundred and seventy grand. Um, so, Patrick Mahomes probably still makes more every time he throws hold on. the ball. And, and then and then you got a tip. So what's a twenty percent tip on that? <laughs> Would you win twi- tip twenty percent? You wouldn't have to tip twenty. That's a thirty. One hundred and seventy thousand. Thirty thirty four hundred. Thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four thousand dollar tip. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> my God, a shot over two hundred grand. We're all good at math, which is actually roughly the price I found out to rent a yacht for ten guests on the bay in Monaco for the Monaco F one, which I'm planning for the show next year. Oh my God, I can't wait! Wait, am I since I'm like so part Obviously. of the show, so Emily. I'm included? On the- Emily, can yes. you picture us in Monaco at F one? Yes, I can. You in those sunglasses. No, no, you can't. no you can't. I have to be there. You jump the gun exactly. there. No, you can't. It exactly. was the answer. Yeah. You're coming. Yeah. It's going to oh, be fantastic. Coming. I'm just kind of fighting them for price. <laughs> yeah, I can't really haggle. Kind cool. of some back uh-huh. and forth going on. Right. I got to imagine tickets are on sale now that Monaco descended. Hey, congrats. Charles Leclerc. Yeah. On his first ever win in, his, uh, in Monaco. So. Go Sha. Did you see? I saw nothing, unfortunately. Okay. So I don't, do we have F1 fans that listen to us? I hope so. F1's great. Because you know one of my favorite drivers? Max. Well, Max is my guy. Yep. He's been my guy since episode one of Drive to Survive. Yep. And I said, watch out for this guy. Yeah. And since then, he's completely taken over Formula One. Yep. I should have been an analyst. Clearly, I'm good at it. Yes. <clears throat> no, but there's one American team, Haas Manufacturing. And there's one driver for Haas who they try to fire all the time, and he keeps coming back, named Kevin Magnuson. Yeah, you brought him up the other week. Where, what does he do? Crashes. He crashes. <laughs> all he does is crash. Did right? He, did he crash Monaco? Monaco's Four, hard. Everybody crashes Monaco. 400 meters into the Monaco start. Ah, oh, geez, Kev. He clips. Uh, actually, I should say he tried to squeeze into a spot that there was no way uh, got to be aggressive. Who's the other Monaco. Red Bull driver? If you want to gain spots, you got to be aggressive at Monaco. Um, the guy I'm not a huge fan of, but anyway, he got squeezed by the other Red Bull driver. Uh, pit maneuvered him, mm-hmm. and then kicked his Haas car into the other Haas car. So 400 <laughs> meters into the race, uh. now that they're Kevin Magnussen, mind you, has 10 penalty points. I believe he received four for this, and at 12 he can't race next race. So I don't think he's racing next week. Damn, Kev. But he should. Imagine being the Haas team owner, the guy that owns Haas. Yeah. You spent how many millions of dollars on payroll, on cars, on technology, on practice, on drivers to come to Monaco? Yeah. 400 meters into the race, Kevin Magnuson took both of your cars out. Can't wait. Can't wait to see that drive to survive. <laughs> Dude, he, he went walking towards where all the you know the guys on the computers and the radios are, and yeah. they turned around, <laughs> and his agent or friend or something said, let's go upstairs. And they took him into a, a closet. Nobody acknowledged yep. him. <laughs> yep. Team owners Oof. over there just staring at him like I'm I'm gonna kill this guy. Oof. I can't believe what he j- yeah, but so what uh But in Kevin's defense, he said he goes, They gave me no room and uh, kaboom. <laughs> is that was that his defense? <laughs> Kinda. Man. 
What happened to Gun- Gunther Steiner? He's not Team Perez anymore. No, I think, I think I think a lack of production, honestly. Mm. Did did you see him win? Mm-mm. I'm pretty sure season one of Drive to Survive. And the first year, well, he went the from first Red year Bull to you Renault, got right? me in the first year you got me into F1. He um, went from Red Bull. Pretty to sure Renault. Haas was like they were up there with uh, best of the midfield, weren't they? And they've just taken a, a huge dip. Like they're they're Georgie, bottoms. They, they're bottoms. Haas is they're, hanging around. They're the new Williams, right? I was gonna Am say I they're wrong? hanging around with Williams at Am the parties. Am I wrong? When when Red Bull and Ferrari and Mercedes walk up to order a drink, they say, "Are you in line?" Haas still says, "No." No, go ahead. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Just go ahead. And then you get in line, and they say, "Well, I guess not." I am. <laughs> no, I'm in line. Those guys. Yeah, that's them. That's Haas. That's a good. Uh, I like that analogy for Haas. <laughs> Poor Haas. There is an American driving for another team, though. Um, I can't remember his name. He's good. No way. He's basically a fighter pilot. Ooh. But yeah, he's got it. Okay. He's calm, cool, collect. A Anyways. nameless guy on a nameless team. No, he has but a he's name. American. And the team has a name too. Yes. But he's an American. Nice. That's great. Hey, so uh um NFL. There's still NFL things happening. I know we're all in Wolves Mania right now, and rightfully so. Did Justin sign? Because it ain't over. Justin has not signed, Sody. Justin hasn't signed. You know he was in New York, right? Yeah, well, you talk about that. Like six blocks from the Jets facility. Yeah, let's just start with that. Go ahead. I'm just saying he was. People saw him. What was he doing? He was just there. Hopefully not talking contracts, because we don't own him very soon. I keep hearing I keep hearing October is when we should expect the contract. October? That's what I've been hearing. He has one year left, right? I think. Yeah. Or didn't he have a year left last year, I thought? Yeah. So we don't. It, when that year four this last season year? starts, he's a free agent. Well, we unless we picked up his fifth year. Yeah, which, which would be a slap in the face, I think, if we do. Well, of course we're going to pick it up, but he's going to. You try to get the deal done before that, otherwise. I feel, he, I feel bad. I don't know more about the scenario. Yeah, me too. But are you worried about it? Yeah. Oh. Emily. Oh. I don't know. She's just a Wolves fan. I don't. I don't know. That's great. I. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I'll take your guys' word for it. I think they see three years in Addison and they don't have to pay him. And, um, and then they can go funny you bring that up. Do all kinds of crazy stuff. So do you think Bucky Brooks has a point? Bucky Brooks tweets, I think it's realistic with the wide receiver market moving into the thirty million a year range. So many young wide receivers in college pipeline with plug and play potential. Teams could draft and replace elite vets with younger, cheaper players. Teams with A plus QBs in particular could lean on young, cheap wide receivers after QB one gets big money. We're not in that QB situation yet. Been a while. Not in that situation yet, but either way, we have Addison, we have Hawkinson. Hawkinson. Do we do we trade them for a massive freaking package and draft young stud wide receivers wide receivers or young ones who are producing are more and more every year hawkinson's not the that guy that said they I'm are not about. fair enough that said Robert they are not Tanya? justin jefferson we're talking about an all-time great right now we're talking about a future hall of famer in all likelihood yeah does that change it yes sounds expensive right no i want to pay i want to pay jj 35 mil a year me too and i hope he gets it i wish we paid him yesterday yes i wish we didn't have to talk about this I'm with but you. we haven't, which makes me think they're doing math. C.D. Lamb says he's waiting for Justin Jefferson. Let me ask Jefferson. you this. Billy Ball from Moneyball, would he sign Justin Jefferson? Brad, I'm not familiar enough. With... Moneyball. No, I know. I saw it. But Brad Pitt. Was he? Jonah Hill. He was like kind of. He a... looked at people as a stat. Yeah. Not a person. But you had a money sign next mm-hmm. to you. Mm-hmm. And your stats weren't astronomically larger than everyone else's, which his are. Yeah. So, yeah, we got to pay him. But, no, he would pay guys that were mediocre, but they got on base, got on base, got on base. No name people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, first inning, you're five runs in. Why? These guys get on base. Yeah. Mm. And I just, yeah, I hope you don't go money ball on the game. No, I agree. Yeah, um, I've said it before, and this is not my take, but I've said it before. You you pay the superstars that you draft. Um. That's how you establish yourself as a franchise, and otherwise, 
players won't want to they won't want to be drafted by you they won't want to uh, look you look at you in free agency a lot of them just um, want to leave you, you do right by you do right by your superstars i guess as long as they're doing right by you and we did that but to daniel where's he jj has we did that to daniel he's gone kind of what about steph one year deal be good to steph for him where's he same team doesn't matter how nice you are to them okay neither of them are jj stature so my point stands whoa you don't think Daniil? No. Okay, yeah, you're right. Daniil's amazing. Not not necessarily a future Hall of Famer. He's, yeah, he'd have to accomplish a lot. Do you think Justin Jefferson's the best wide receiver to play football ever? No, not yet. Who is? Randy. Really? Jerry. For me, it's Megatron. I think Megatron Le- did more. Okay, in- all-encompassing... Like longevity. If I'm taking anybody did it for this long, first day of the draft, if I can take any Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, anybody at their prime, it's Calvin Johnson, hundred times over. For, oh, I, get at I, me. I, I still, I, I, I still think Randy. I'm, a I'm, gonna still, I'm gonna still take Randy. No, you know why? Because if you didn't have t- Randy, had to get downfield, right? Not necessarily. Okay. Did he go over the middle? Well, yeah, he did. He went over the middle. In he the could, first three like, years, it, and the his slants and he uh, went over the middle and, 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 and just his hitches were anyway. were money because they would have to give him such a cushion. So we just stop and it'd take him three seconds before they had to run up to him. Doesn't matter. Who That's why you, the double moves are unstoppable, played. baby. Who was on defense? It does not matter. It's a mismatch with Calvin Johnson. You put him on a D end. Well, it's the same with it's the same with Randy. Well, you put him with you wouldn't okay. put a D. Do you remember on Sports him? Science? You remember that show that they used to do? Yeah. You you know what the catch radius of Calvin Johnson is? It was like three car garage or something. It's a it's a one it's a one car garage. Okay, either way. But That's think great. about that. If you're standing in the middle of a one car garage mm-hmm. and you throw a ball mm-hmm. within a one car garage, he's gonna get it. You don't think Randy would have been able if they had sports science when Randy was if that garage doing? was headed north? Yeah, because he was usually going north. Yeah. He wanted to get the hell out of Minnesota. He I wanted to get he, past the Mohawks. I think, I think uh, Megatron line, also had an inch on Randy. Randy okay. six four, Megatron six five. Okay, I'm not saying that as a slight. I'm Who made the Hall of Fame first? Randy. That's good. He deserved it. What? Megatron? Did he fi- he finally made it right. Like, yeah, or not after finally, like, but he, he was only first played ballot. like what seven seasons. First ballot, right? Yeah, first ballot Hall of Famer. No, after absolutely, seven years. absolutely deserved. Um. Okay. So yeah. Um. Sign, sign Jefferson. Damn it, please. Uh, TJ Hawkinson update. Um, expected to miss four to six weeks. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it's just our luck, man. I know. We get our guy. Yeah. And he had a great year. Oh, my God. He great, did great so year. Good. He looked mm-hmm. so good. I he tried so, so hard to trade for him. I know. You. I know. And you said no. And Glad hey, I didn't. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because I won. But Robert Tanyan, <laughs> right? Finally, the final Infinity Stone for the Damn NFC right. North. He's made the rounds. Damn right. He's, he's played for all four teams in the NFC North. He completed the gauntlet. And now he's going to bring us a bowl. Let's go. Um, Harrison Smith in the offseason. This is a tweet via Alec Lewis. Harrison Smith said he hadn't really thought too much about football. Then saw on ESPN that free agency was soon. Thought, oh, I should probably talk to my agent about playing. He had been working as a carpenter and welder for his brother, naturally. Love Harry Hitman. That's what Blake Bortles is doing right now. He's working carpentry. Good. He's ripping cigs. Blake Bortles has maybe my favorite NFL highlight there is, and it's not even a huge play, but it's great. Um, Tell me about it. I'm going to. Thanks. Um, He's scrambling, rolls out left, decides to tuck it and run. The camera is on him. It's, It's pretty close up. You can see his face well through the helmet as he's running. He points. At a guy for his blocker to go block him. Whoever his blocker was crushes that guy. And Blake just has the biggest smile on his face. Just the purest, biggest smile. Like, yeah. I've told him to hit you. And then just goes soft out of bounds. It's great. I'm going to try to find it. Love it. Uh, Pro Football Focus has their top 25 players under 25. How many Vikings are on the list? Let's find out. Emily, how was your week? Uh, Pretty good. Had a long Memorial Day weekend. Did you guys do anything fun? Uh, well, last was it last Friday, Al? We went downtown. Uh, yeah, for game two, yeah, and, it, and it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We hung out downtown. Ended sadly, out the but a, party. And mm-hmm. It was nice. very cool. Yep. Uh, hung out at the loon. Found a great table at the loon. Really? Mm-hmm, for watch the watch the first half there. Was the Rosie good half. There? Uh, didn't see him. Mm. 
And then, yeah, we left during the halftime. That's pretty sweet. But it was really fun. Okay, any list that has Amon St. Brown at 11 is is naturally bullshit. Okay. Also, there's no Vikings yet. Well, then let's not talk about this list. I want to see if there's a Viking. <laughs> Sam Laporta, 19, come on. You're kidding me. Uh, the Lions got like four. Did you guys get out of the water at all? There's no Vikings. There's no Vikings. Did who get out on the water? You guys. No, we didn't get out on the water. On the big the big lake they call Gitchagumi. No, we didn't go up north. What? The previous weekend we did. The previous um, weekend we did, but not last weekend. We were home. Al worked. Are you Tom Brady. To Excuse me, I would love to, and I'm trying to work that out. All right. You coming to Bass Fest? When is it? Tom Brady regret, regrets his nep- Netflix roast. I'm going to try that again. <clears throat> Duh, they talked about his kids. I would, too. Tom Brady says he regrets Netflix roast. Wouldn't do it again because it, quote, affected my kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. You could have saw that coming. You know they're going to talk shit about your divorce. Oh. It's the lowest hanging fruit there is. It's a roast. Yep. He wouldn't have taken the money, however much money he was given to do it, is what he said. Jeez, that sucks. Well, I think... That sucks, though. Instead of doing roasts... Tom's Tom's in the same boat as me, where sometimes he has days where he thinks the world's full of good people. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's full of pieces of shit. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. It's very true. And the... Who's that ocean again? It's a tide. Okay. Um, So, instead of doing roasts, he could just sell his game-worn pants. How much do you think those sold for? More or less than the whiskey. His game worn pants. Game worn pants. More than the whiskey. Tom Brady's so his stinky used, pants. His used Buccaneers stinky, pants, pants from Wait. final NFL appearance. From his last. From his last NFL appearance to be auctioned. Three times as much as the whiskey. Um, at, Three times as much so as the whiskey. So this is after Couples. Jersey from the same game sold for a record. Okay, so I don't know if those the pants, things are I'm littered sorry. with Brady. I don't, I don't know if the I don't know if the I pants know. have sold yet. Gross. I don't know if the pants is so, have sold yet. This is also from a shit source in Daily Mail. Daily Mail sucks. Oh come on, what are we doing here? Yeah, but what the hell? Um, six jersey from he did sell his jersey from the same game. Six million. Six mil, Emily. Just it shouldn't be that much. Two mil. One point four mil. Not even close. So the to whiskey a, to shouldn't, even, shouldn't than even Tom be Brady that. sweat. Um, almost double. You can't for the whiskey. Clone the whiskey. Exactly. You, enough DNA in those pants. You can make. <laughs> or you could just, or you could just <laughs> like make the pants and. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. Make the what pants. What is someone going to do no, with the pants, mind. though? Like, are Clone you gonna Tom frame, Brady. Are you going to frame the pants? Like, you're like you're, you're asking what Wait. people would do with game-worn Tom Brady pants. Play God in my kitchen sink. <laughs> that's what I would do. You're, that, you know, that's not going to someone who just has the money laying around. They're going to smell them. You're going to spend a lot of time smelling them. At least. That's so gross. Most of their time, oh. it's going to be smelling them. <laughs> It's okay. Most of the time. Um, hey, cool. Seriously? Yeah. We are five minutes from game time, game four of the Western Conference Finals. Ow! Let's go, Wolves. Ow. Let's go. Let's go, Emily. Thanks, guys. Success. Amazing. Yeah. I think this should be a weekly deal. Agreed. Um, oh, my God. But also with Doc. Now I can take a few days off. We got we got replacements on deck. Everybody's replaceable. Everybody. Whoa. Um, please check out the secondoffice.com. Sorry. Patreon dot patreon.com slash the second office. For five dollars a month, you can get some awesome, awesome content. And wait do you see these Rushmore fives that are coming out tonight. <laughs> They're gonna be good. Uh thank you guys and again. D- check out our YouTube channel. You can see us on video now. Look at how pretty my wife is. This is on video? And she's all right looking too. <laughs> like you're my wife and you're hot. Get it? Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for taking him. This was a blast. This is fun. That was fun. You can stick you. around for premium? Uh, yeah. Well, the game's starting soon, but, you know. <laughs>